Welcome to Well-Rounded Mama's YouTube channel. Thanks for joining us. If you find this video helpful, like, subscribe, ring the bell. We ding, would love ding. to hear from you, your friends, uh, all of the things. Today we're talking about cord blood banking. What's cord blood banking? What's cord blood banking? <laughs> what is cord blood banking? <laughs> well, what has happened is they've discovered that stem cells do a lot of magical things. And so... The only time you have them is when you're born. Yep. In a cord. In a cord. From a placenta. And so what does that mean? What does that mean for you when it comes to having like your home birth and how does it affect your home birth? I've done two and it has been for two families that had a, another child that had, one had leukemia, another one I can't remember what they had, but you do have to cut the cord right away. The benefit of stem cells is really great. I don't know where we're at with our technology. I hear a lot of different stories. So. I don't know how confident I am in the process. It kind of feels a little bit... Like you're paying for something that you might not need. A little bit. Sorry if you're pro I mean, I, I feel like if you have a child that has leukemia, sure. then I would see doing that. But even then, it has and to so be And so what happens is, is you contact a company directly. And there are a lot of different companies. This, this CryoCell is, is one of them. AlphaCord is another one. They stop by. They're really nice. And you call them and you order a kit. So your midwife actually doesn't do that. You order a yeah. kit. And it's there at the birth for us when we arrive. And right. everything we need is to that do kit. that is in that kit. We just can't let the cord. Pulsate. We generally will let it pulsate for like a minute and then we'll stop it and then we have to cut the cord so that we can collect all of that blood in there. and so there's like a little bladder that we fill it would be cool if we had one here that would have yeah. been helpful but there's a little bladder and we have to fill that with a certain amount of blood to make it worth your while Thanks. the other thing that we have to do is we have to draw blood from mom that's the only downfall is we draw a little bit of blood from mom I think it it's just it. two vials, right? Yeah, it's not very much. I think it's just two vials, yeah. and so we send that with that, and then you call them, and they come and they pick it up from your house. Yep, so it's easy peasy. For me, I would rather know my kid's going to get those stem cells mm -hmm. from the very beginning. So right. because I don't have a child that has those things, that needs those things, it was never a priority to me or my grandchildren. And so what right. I recommend people do is if you feel like you're worried about that, let the cord completely pulsate out so that your kid gets all those stem cells. Right, that's how I feel too. But that's kind of how that... The science is getting it. there, but I don't think it's all the way there for what they can do. But that does, that's not to say that it won't be. And we've toured a couple mm -hmm. facilities in our... Because mm -hmm. there's a couple local ones, and yeah. we've toured them, but it's been a long time. Like, yeah. I can't even remember... Yeah, it was a while the last time that we did that. And their argument is, is technically evidence suggests that the cord just has to pulsate for a minute to get the benefit. So that's their argument is mm -hmm. you can still get both of those benefits. We generally don't clamp the cord. Don't clamp the cord. We wait for the placenta to be delivered and then. And then clamp it. Yeah. Because then we know the placenta is done its job. Yep. And so, yeah, that's kind of, you know, what your choices and your options are. You can always call the company that, and ask questions. Mm -hmm. They do have a lot of information on that. I know that the perinatologists, I know Dr. Wilkes, he goes around town doing like seminars. So if you are local to the Las Vegas area, and I'm sure in whatever city you live in, Desert Perry Associates, if you look up Dr. Wilkes, he goes around and he talks about cord blood banking as a perinatologist and so has like a different kind of yeah. opinion and a viewpoint on that because they deal with high risk pregnancies he's a huge advocate and so if you wanted more information maybe look that up and go to one of his workshops that talks yeah. about it but that's kind of for us on our side of that as home birth midwives that's yeah. how it affects home birth right yeah. yeah and I'm like Tiffany I've only probably done a couple in my yeah, career I've only done two. Yeah. I think we did more in our apprenticeship but I my apprenticeship was under a CNM so maybe yeah. that was why we did a little bit more but for me yeah I probably yeah. I'm sure my bias is ingrained very deeply in that conversation. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I do think that there's a reason why the body holds back that blood and gives it to the baby at birth. It's kind of not broken, so it will fix it. Birth works. Birth works, guys. We have news. Anyways, that's our two cents about cord blood banking. If you want more information, Rebecca could link a couple different companies down there. Like we said, we've got some information on a couple yeah. different ones. It's way more affordable than it was five, ten years ago. Yeah, for sure. And so it's definitely come down in cost. 
And so if you're interested, certainly look into it. Thank you for joining us. Leave information down below. Did you look into Corp Love Banking? Was it something that you yeah, did? Yeah, and questions about it. Yeah, did you do it? And do you wish you had or do you wish you hadn't? Let, let us know in the comments down below. But thanks for joining us. We'll see you next week. We generally don't deliver the placenta or... Yeah. yeah. I was like, those are fighting words. Bring your husband into the office. No, <laughs> you don't have to put that part, Rebecca. <laughs> I won't fight anybody. It's fine. Yeah. Good job, Katie. <laughs>